Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be making a boho girl. And um, I've already gone ahead and drawn out my sketch. If you find it difficult to do faces, then I suggest that you look at a video. Uh, look up a video on how to paint faces or draw faces so that you can have a better idea as to how to get the, dim the dimensions correctly before you attempt to um, paint a face. So I've uh, made a sketch on a piece of cardboard um, of something similar that I'm gonna be doing today. And this is my sample painting on a piece of cardboard, okay? And the colors that I will be using for this painting are um, raw sienna, dark purple, uh, robin's egg blue. If you don't have this color, you can easily mix some turquoise blue and white together, make it very pale looking. This is sap green. This is light yellow. If you don't have light yellow, you can again mix some yellow with white and make it very soft. This is white, golden yellow, and rose, okay? And I have drawn out some lines right here with some chalk. And the reason why I drew out those lines is to kind of guide me as to where I'm gonna place my highlights. I'm gonna be working from dark to light, and I will uh, speak about what I'm doing as I go along. Uh, the brushes that I'll be using today will be my one inch flat brush, my three quarter inches flat brush, and this is a long half inch brush. I like it because it has this chisel on it and it makes it so much easier to do finer details. And I have a small little rounded liner brush. Okay, um, please feel free to leave any comments, suggestions. If you like the video, please leave me a like. And if you like, you can subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more videos in the future. Thank you for watching. I'm going to start from dark to light. I'm going to create a skin tone using some white, a dab of raw sienna, little tiny bit of this yellow. with my larger brush. You don't want your skin tone to look chalky. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of this color and a little bit of rose. Skin tone can be a little tricky to do, a little bit of light yellow, but you just gotta work with it. Let's see if it looks natural. Make sure you make enough of your paint so that you don't run out and you don't end up with a two-tone face. Okay. I'm gonna stay out of my area that I chalked out just because that's gonna go much lighter tone. Pressing down so I don't leave a lot of lines. Okay. 
Now for the neck area, I want a little bit darker. So I'm making a little bit more. So now I'm going to wipe off my brush. I don't want to wet it because I don't want it. I don't want the paint to get real watery. I'm just going to wipe it off on my little towel here. And I'm picking up some of this ye light yellow. Okay. I don't want it really thick and I'm going to come right in here and I'm going to just fill this in. As well so before this dries out I want to come and blend these two lines together so that they look soft you see that and right up here And then right in here. And moving down the nose. Just like that. You see how those highlights worked out. And then on the jawline, And again, we want to soften that line. Come back and make it a little bit brighter. And soften it out. Okay, you see how those highlights worked out? All right, we're going to come back without cleaning the brush. I'm going to dip it right back in here again. A little bit. And I want to... Come right in here, make this shadow around the nose, around the eye, around this eye, with the chisel of the brush, okay, don't worry about that, and then right here, right around the nose. If it, you find it difficult to do something like that, use a, a skinnier brush. There. Blend this together. Okay. Picking up a little bit of white with just the tip of my brush. I want to chisel that edge, make it nice and flat. And then come right on the edge. 
to the nose. Give her that highlight that I see there. Okay, and a little bit of a highlight right here. A little bit more white and a little bit more highlight right on the top of the cheekbone. Just soften that out. Now I'm picking up my half inch flat brush and I'm going to take a little tiny bit of this purple. Instead of black, I like to use purple and sienna. Make it like a darker purple so that I can make a darker spot right there. Line the eyes since I already have this paint. Make the eyebrow. If you know how to put on makeup, you can put on her makeup. See that? Just like that. Since I already have this paint here, I'm going to fill that in. Right. A little bit around the nose. Very light paint. Under the nose. On the bottom of the nose. And just soften that out. There. Okay. I'm also going to take that same color and make the top of the crease of her eye. Both sides. With the chiseled part. Okay. Now I'm picking up a little bit of that yellow and putting it right back into that sienna. And I'm just going to a little bit lighter with the eyelid. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. I'm also going to use that color for this line in the middle of the lips. Okay. Just like that. Let's go back and put it in again. No black. Black makes everything look way too chalky, artificial. All right, now I'm picking up, I want to wash off my brush. I'm picking up some of this sap green and I'm going to make the eyeball. Just fill that in. Picking up a tiny bit of this purple, and I'm going to make the pupil of the eye at the tip of this brush. You can also use your liner brush for this. Don't worry that the pupil's not perfect. 
we're gonna fix that okay we're coming back to our purple and I'm going to give her the top eyelid okay now I'm picking up this little liner brush and I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of this blue. It looks like a sky blue. And I'm going to fill in halfway the white of the eye. Halfway. Okay, then the bottom half. I'm going to do a white. Don't worry to fall up blends together. We're going to come back and fix that up. Bottom half. Okay, now we're going to line her lips. You can do it right with the liner brush. And fill it in using rose or whatever color you want. She's starting to look like a person, huh? Okay. You rinse off her brush. I'm going to come back with a little bit more of my sienna. And just fill in her ear. There's a little bit of darkness right here, so we'll put, put that in a little darker. And just a little highlight on the ear, okay? Just lighten that up a little bit, her jawline. There. Let's lighten this up a little bit, I see a little bit of light right here, more light right here, right there, and let's fix her nose, making a little bit more of my sienna, put a lot more white, and let's just fix her nose. Okay, now we're gonna work on these roses, okay? So with my half inch brush, I'm picking up a little bit of rose somewhere and some of this dark purple. And I'm gonna start from the center and just kind of work my way outward like that. Some more purple in the middle, more purple. And the pattern that you want to do is kind of like a brick pattern. If you know how a brick is laid. Some more rose and purple. Center. Center, watch how I do it, center. Okay. Just kind of filling this in. And then one more. Okay. So, 
some of these flowers are gonna go yellow like this one I did not clean off my brush I just picked up the yellow okay I'll go to this one yellow Bit more pink at the bottom. I'll do this one in pink. Don't overthink it. I'll do this one in pink. This one. And this one right here. Wiping off my brush again, and I'll do this one in yellow in the center, and then the lighter yellow on the outer side. Okay, a bit more yellow down here. Okay. And then the hair, I'm going to outline her hair in the raw sienna. With the chisel of my brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of that purple, make it darker. in here okay. Got some of this hair to cover her face okay so now I'm picking up some of this sienna and just dipping a little bit of this yellow in there a bit of pink, some white, some more sienna, and let's just fill in her hair. Just so that you're able to see the lines that I made. I'm gonna wet my brush just a tiny bit so that it doesn't dry up. Okay. Wiping off my brush, picking up a little bit more of this pink. I wanna bring that out a little bit more. Now I am picking up a little bit of white and some of this light yellow. Okay. And I'm gonna highlight her hair only where the hair should be getting light. Like where it bends outwards. If you know what I mean. Where the curl comes outward.
hand. Just get this up. Get up there by unhand that. Okay. And this should have a little bit of shadow right there. We'll pick up a tiny bit of this purple and just bring it right down in here. Just darken it. Also, I'm going to bring the sienna up in here because her hair is in there. Right in here, in between the flowers, right, and right in here. Okay. Right. Now I'm picking up my three-quarter inch brush and. Okay, I'm going to pick up some of this green and let's just fill in these leaves very quickly, fill in these leaves, just fill them all in. And there's one sneaking in there. Okay. And there's the one right there. Okay, perhaps a tiny one there. Now we'll pick up a tiny bit of this blue and just sort of highlight the leaf. I light it. It's a little blue on the on one side of it, just like that. Pretend the light is hitting it. Okay. Clean off that brush. And I'm gonna come back to my half inch flat long brush and I'm going to pick up some white and we're going to throw in some highlights on these roses. Some light yellow. Some white. Mix it with some rose. With the chisel part of your brush. I'm going to do this. Okay. Chisel part. Pick up some more rose. So I want everything highlighted. Just whatever part is hitting the light. feel like you overdid it, you can always come back and put in some more paint. Look right here, I'll put in some more rose at the bottom. Okay, right here. There. Okay, 
I do want to bring in a little bit more skin tone. Right here. As if the hair is giving her a shadow, right? Just run over the eyebrows, it's all right. Let me wash off this brush. Come back right here, put a little bit more purple and brown together, and we will do her eyebrows right back in there and there. Okay, I want to darken her lips with the paint with the rose. So I'm coming back again with rose. Want to create a little shadow underneath her lip. So I'm taking some raw sienna and some purple, and I'm just gonna come more in here. Create a little shadow. Okay, and right, right there. Perhaps right here. And right over here. My paint is drying up. If your paint dries up, just wet the tip of your brush. It works. Okay, I want to make a more defined line right here. So I'm using a little purple. There. Okay. Now I'm cleaning off my brush really good. You can use your liner brush, or if you have more experience, then you can use the flat brush, the chiseled part of the flat brush, to come right back in here, halfway through the eye, and make this white. Make it white again. Okay, I'm also going to make a white line across the lip and just kind of feather it down a little bit of white here to line that lip a tiny bit of white right there a tiny bit more white so you can see the light how it reflects on the lip Just soften that. Okay. And a little bit more white. Just a little bit more. Feather it down. See that? Okay, now wiping off my brush. Coming back with the purple. And you can also do this with a magic marker if you like, the lashes. Okay, I'm going to line the eye. Line them. Okay. And... And now I'm going to use my liner brush, same color, the sienna and the purple. Get enough paint on there. And I'm going to do her lashes. You might want to 
practice the lashes somewhere on a piece of cardboard or paper. I like to make big, long lashes. Not too many on the bottom. Okay, you might also want to wet the tip of your brush just a little bit, but make sure your paint isn't running. Okay, look at that. I'm going to go over them again just a little bit, make them a little thicker at the bottom. More defined. See that? It's not that hard. But you should practice a little bit. Okay, now I'm coming in with, I wiped off my brush, coming in with this light blue. And I'm going to wipe it off because I don't want a whole lot of paint. Okay. And I'm just going to line the eye at the bottom. See that? Only on the right side. Kind of like a comma almost. Then wipe it off. Come in. Grab a little bit of white. Push your brush back like this so that you don't have globs of white. And you want to one dot, one dot, and then over here, tiny line. See how that kind of makes the eye look more circular? Okay, and now with my three quarters inch brush, I'm gonna take some of my light blue. to trace around the my entire image this is negative painting it cleans up your painting makes it look so beautiful doesn't matter if I run over a little bit see that And before this paint dries up, I'm going to grab a little bit of white, come right in here. And just kind of drag that blue out. A little bit more blue, some more white. Crisscross, crisscross. Okay, there you have it. A little bit more blue right here. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you have any suggestions or questions, comments, Please leave them below. Again, my name is Yvette Andino with Yvette Andino Art. And I will leave a link below for my eBay store and my Instagram account. If you want to contact me, you can.